<laughs> this is something of a steep little thing. This particular track is fairly strenuous due to all its ups and downs. It's got plenty of them. It's a field of esters. With the trail cleverly threading through, over, and around them. it will be that way to eventually land at Plum Island where the kiosk is gone. And this way to the south and eventually the magnificent bay farm which is lovingly tended by the enlightened citizenry of Duxbury. Just came through that little kettle hole bowl. Much of this section may be the first third or so skirts of the gravel operation, which must have granted an easement. Then we end up in the Sasker Forest, skirting along the wetlands that contain Mine Brook. This here is the first bit of serpent-like esker back, and it's a system of multiple eskers. There's another one over there. So it must have been a weird glacial melting pattern of all the water that was a mile thick above us as it started to really retreat from the grip it had on the land form here so long ago. Ah, so yes, the first of the long series of Eskimaks once long ago laying in the grip of a mile thick sheet of ice.
and we're already beginning to get a bit closer to Mine Brook. The color looks great. I should have brought my DSLR, but I've already dragged it through here. I'm going to be chasing color all week. Little Mr. Elf will help us catch a little of it anyway. Now, as I recall, we go on this course for a way. The trail's in pretty sweet shape. It's interesting, the mechanical sounds. You have the gravel pit over there. And then there are times when a CSX freight run comes through over there and you can hear its diesel engines roaring. And that's the direction we came from. You can see hints of leaf color through the understory over in the wide wetland area that carries Mine Brook. And now we're doing another funny little kind of steep and slippery descent. Oh, there's a little shroom. Nice. Might as well give that its homage. This place in general, when I was last year, I found to be a mushroom lovers hog heaven. More species and more interesting variety than I've seen elsewhere. So it added substantially to my mushroom photo collection.
And a turn is indicated. That looks like some odd little... Nah, that's not a structure. That's just a little pile of sticks. Yeah, the banking on this suggests maybe snowmobiles or ATVs use it sometimes. See the edge slope of the gravel pit. <laughs> Funny vernacular fabrications. Actually, this may also be just people that know the drill making the equivalent of small critter condos, brush piles. For Great habitat enhancers for the various lower end of the food chain things that keep everything else going. Last time I stupidly wandered up that thing, but I believe the trail really intends to keep you out of the gravel pit's hair. 